So here's what's going to happen today. We're just going to skip the intro entirely. We're going to get into the video now. We got so much stuff to go through because one of the devices just didn't make it. So let's find out what happened. Pricing is crazy right now. When you look at Best Buy or Amazon, you can get either devices for 229 or 249. It goes up depending where you go. Now's the time, guys. Now's the time to invest in one of these devices. However, you should know when you come out of the box, it's Android 10, One UI 2.5 for the Tab S6 Lite, and you have Android 9 for the Lenovo for the Duet, right? And Chrome OS, of course, that's what a Chromebook comes with. There's another thing you need to know when you get these devices. On paper, they have 64 gigabyte of storage, right, for the SSD, but you will only get available storage for the S6 Lite, 52 gigabyte. Okay, but for the Lenovo, for the Duet, you will only get 49 gigabyte, but then you move on to RAM. And here is something you should really know. When you get them out of the box, you have nothing installed. Four gigabyte of RAM on paper, you only get two gigabyte. Only two gigabyte is available. We'll see if that makes an impact on performance, right? We'll see that later. And SSD is not like SSD. The reason why I mention this, look at the figures. You have a Tab S6 Lite SSD versus an, like a normal SSD, EMCP SSD on a Lenovo Duet. And there's a huge difference in sequential read and write speed, almost four times in terms of read and then double the write speed. And here's one of the most interesting facts we have collected in a long time. We've done a survey amongst all the tablet users worldwide, amongst our audience, right? Because the Lenovo Duet comes with a keyboard included, which is a great value at first glance, and then you have a pen included for the Tab S6 Lite. Also great value, right? The survey though shows a different picture. When you look at this, people say, 45% of all survey people say that a tablet and a pen is important. That's it, that's important to them. Of course, the full package as a laptop replacement is really appealing. You have the same number of people who say, yeah, that's for me, pen, tablet, keyboard. Tablet only, old school, 9%. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Tablet and keyboard. 3%. So people would choose, 44% would choose a tablet and pen rather than a tablet and a keyboard, right? There's already kind of an indication that the Tab S6 Lite here with the pen is more appealing and then people can always spec it out. But we'll come to this with the pen situation for the Duet later on. When you hold both devices in your hands side by side, you don't feel a difference in terms of weight and size, right? But here's about, you can see the difference in bezels. And I feel like that the Duet bezels, they feel enormous compared to the Tab S6 Lite. The Tab S6 Lite looks really slim. Camera placement, horizontal versus vertical. So there is one difference here, which we will see later in our video calling test. The Lenovo on the back, you can see the metal uh, body on the bottom and then you have a bit of a plastic on top that's kind of blue and playful color. That could be a, a Google thing because that's what Google likes to do with their hardware. Since it is a Chromebook, it makes sense. People like it or they don't, I do like it. When you hold them side by side, you will see that the Tab S6 Lite has an expandable SD card slot, which the Lenovo Duet doesn't have. The volume rocker and the on and off button are on the top, like a tablet, right? That's kind of a tablet design, whereby the Duet Duet is more like of a laptop design. You have it on the side, the volume on and off rocker, as well as the on and off button. And then, you, of course, you have your keyboard connectors, your pins for the Duet, and then you have a USB-C port. There's one thing I need to mention, and that is very important, that comes up in our test later. You do have a headphone jack for the Tab S6 Lite, right? Old school, you do not have that on the Duet. But you have an adapter included in the box for the Duet, and you know what? Everybody's showing you the adapter, but nobody's testing it so we're gonna test it later on I mean honestly when you look at the duet on first glance on paper you have the keyboard included that's immensely insane value 229 best buy wow the keyboard comes in two parts you have one part that goes on the back it's really strong magnetically there is a bit of flimsiness included though I mean it's all in in line with pricing right when you look at that it couldn't really open it at the back you open the whole thing or you take it off but it's doable not a problem it even holds it when you uh, dangle it that's not an issue the other side of the keyboard goes on um, like a normal keyboard right and here's where the fun really starts. As soon as you detach the keyboard, the second half of the keyboard of the duet, it will go into tablet mode and you will have these array of icons, shortcuts on the home screen, including the big search bar on the top. It looks hideous to me. Uh, the first thought, how do I get rid of this? And I found a solution, but this is a solution you should keep in mind for when you have issues. And I'm gonna show you this in a second, but first to the solution. In order to get rid of this home screen here, 
All you need to do is connect a Bluetooth device, like a mouse, for example. I have a Surface mouse, I connect it, and voila. Then you go back into laptop mode and you don't have these icons. You can rearrange them all. You still have that big search bar visible. But the only problem now is that you can't type, right? You can't type into a like a search bar or whatever you want to type. It's just not possible because it thinks that keyboard is a touch. It is basically retracted into uh, laptop mode. Basically, this little workaround has saved me from discontinuing this video. And I'm honest, honest, honest truth here. And I tell you why. Every time I detach the keyboard and I touched it back on every other time, it got stuck in tablet mode. And I didn't know how to get rid of it at first, right? I had to reset the device over and over again. It was so bad, I shot some iPhone footage here. It got stuck. It was frozen, completely frozen. I was ready to just pack it in. And then I found this solution. So eight out of 10 times, it helped me to get out of the tablet mode, go back into laptop mode, although the keyboard was attached. In terms of keyboard, the keyboard, I mean, come on, it comes in the box, right? What can you say? I can't really fault the keyboard for that. It is a bit cramped. Touchpad isn't great. But if we honestly, if we just work on Google Docs, it will do perfectly. Going to the Tab S6 Lite in search of an alternative keyboard for the Tab S6 Lite, I've chosen this Samsung. It's a Samsung keyboard and it's basically something you see out of a spy movie or on the building site. It's kind of really rugged, but it's plasticky. It's not like really sturdy. Um, it is really like cumbersome when you look at the whole package, you plug it in and you, you use PC port here and it's all working fine. But I was, wanted to show you this alternative. It is out there, it costs around 60 bucks and you know, it works fine as a keyboard and it's, it completely protects the Tab S6 Lite. It's just very plasticky. Or simply use some cool accessories like we have, like our, you know, our old iMac keyboard. It works brilliantly. It has good key travel. We connect the mouse, Logitech mouse here. OTG works. You plug it in and then you have a cool setup. Like you put it into the book cover mode and then it looks cool, right? You have a better setup than all these keyboards that come with it. I think so. Anyway, and the same applies to the um, Lenovo. The only issue is really the keyboard comes uh, included. So you don't really need to have an extra accessories, but you can. I wanted to see if it all works together. Of course it does. OTG works fine. You can see that here. And you know what? It is an alternative. I just wanted to show you guys also. Now to the pens. You remember when we had this survey, right? What people prefer, they prefer the pen in the box versus the keyboard in the box when you buy something first glance, right? So you have a USI standard. I'm not gonna get into the standard for the Chromebook for the Lenovo Duet. There's only one problem and that is the pen availability. We here in Germany, we can only get one pen and it's an HP pen, right? In a, in a country of 82 million people, you can only get one make of pen. And that's the one I have. It costs around 80 or 70 bucks, depending where you are. The other one you can get is the Lenovo pen, but again, that depends where you are in the region and you can get it in the US and it costs around 40 bucks. I've seen some good reviews. And I started to use the pen, right? I started to use the HP pen. It worked fine. However, applications kept crashing. Google Keep basically kept crashing. Nebo crashed. So I decided to do a separate review. The reason also is because I've seen other reviews that say that Microsoft OneNote doesn't work on the Duet and I open it and it worked fine. I can take notes. So I want to give it a fair trial here, right? We know what the S Pen is like. We know the S Pen is really good, especially this one here on the top is six light. So there are some considerable display differences and not just on paper, right? On paper, well, on paper, in fact, they look pretty similar. But I wanted to show you first, before we get into the display, I want to show you the availability for like Netflix. Netflix application, not the web-based application, output full HD for the S6 Lite, SD for the Lenovo Duet. It, that doesn't change when you go on a web-based application. Web-based Netflix is still the same, Full HD versus SD. YouTube, however, is different, 1080 for both devices in the application, web-based 4K. And test UFO, you can see 60 FPS, all fine here. Let's start with some 8K footage, different aspect ratios. You can see that and you will see that the Lenovo Duet is probably not the best device for media consumption. And there's one thing that confused me all the way along. In real life, I think that the Tab S6 Lite has more contrast, is more vibrant. When I look at the footage, however, it feels like it looks like the Lenovo Duet is more vibrant and more colorful. What the Duet has, 100%, it is a brighter screen. The display is actually absolute top notch. You can't fault it in any way, shape or form. 
when you move on to angles um, sideways looking at it it also has better viewing angles and i'm showing you here the netflix uh, video wolf of wall street you can see though you have these black bars everywhere when you watch it on the duet moving on outside is now our outside test we didn't have any sun but you can see that the lenovo display is way brighter than the tapas 6 light display and there's one quirky thing that keeps coming up and we had this bar stuck on the bottom here on the duet and it is another thing that i'm putting on a list for the end i'm gonna have a list consolidated at the end i will tell you all the issues we had with this device so now our video calling test and camera test in general and you know what on paper whatever is on paper we don't really care we show you here but listen to this and especially check out what's happening camera and sound quality on the tab s6 Lite for video conferencing and sound quality using headphones on the tab s6 Lite. camera quality and sound quality for video conferencing on the lenovo duet so and i said at the beginning that many reviewers show the adapter but nobody's really using it i haven't seen anybody using it right so we use the adapter and i tell you what if you have good ears then maybe you want to turn this sound down because this is what's happening when you use your adapter on the duet that's the on sound and then when i press off this is the sound quality when using headphones with the adapter on the lenovo duet this is the rear facing camera and the sound quality of the Tab S6 Lite. This is the rear facing camera and the sound quality on the Lenovo Duet. Could that be any choppier while filming? We get out of Manhattan in a New York minute. There's a yellow cab, yeah, we should get in it. We don't need a reason, let's get on a plane. So we've seen all the footage and we heard what's happening with the duet when we use the cameras and especially the um, headphone jack adapter. But let's move on to the speaker test. We want to have the full picture before we come to our conclusion, right? That's so like it's prime night. And when you live in time, stuff, you know you got to set the bar high. Had the same dream for these kids. Big cars and even bigger cribs. Never think that it would happen just the way it did. Fast forward that now, it's just the way we live. Makes you think that this life's made for a king. Right, so there's that with the speakers for the Tapa 6 Lite and the Lenovo Duet. What about gaming though? Gaming is a big thing these days, right? And you have Stadia available for the Lenovo Duet. However, I could not connect the Stadia controller. So I moved over to Xbox, the Ultimate Game Pass. We have that. Xbox controllers connected, works fine. And it worked actually fine on both devices. The only thing I would say is that you have to have a good and stable internet connection for the cloud gaming to work. Overall, it was good. What about performance? Remember at the beginning we said that the RAM availability for both devices is really low, right? SSD differences and you have a processor differences. And I also noticed, and I'm going to show you here, the Duet really struggles when you are in an in, in area where you don't have the best Wi-Fi connection. And you can see you have both devices next to each other. Both devices are connected to the same wireless network. It will simply not load the Netflix video. And this was kind of a sentiment throughout the whole test period that the Wi-Fi connection wasn't really there when I needed it. When it comes to working on both devices, I've chosen some Microsoft applications here opening up and I tested them, uh, Excel, PowerPoint. I felt like the Tapa 6 Lite was slightly ahead, but that's just like could be subjective, but it felt like it. And then moving on to the Google's own applications, right? And this is what really surprised me here. The Duet is a Chromebook, which is really designed for being online, right? This is what it is for. But every time I use the web application for the Chromebook, it performed worse than the Tapa a six slide and it shouldn't be like that however as soon as i use a pre-installed application like google docs or drive application then it worked fine and here's some Geekbench 5 information. You can see the difference for single core, multi core for both devices. The top scores here is for the Tapa 6 Lite and the bottom left is for the Lenovo Duet. Moving on to the battery, both have the same battery capacity. Huge difference here. Netflix full brightness. And again, the device is here, right? For streaming. The Duet only lasted four and a half hours for brightness Netflix movie. So I don't know what's happening here, but this is all kind of, you know, that fits into the whole picture here of what's happening with the 
duet for our test. This, however, changes when we use 50% brightness and we then have a local video playback. So it's not streaming, not web-based. Then the duet really performs as advertised. So does the Type 6 Lite. But that's also something that you guys need to consider when or before buying this. A full charge is kind of similar, really. It depends um, probably what charger you use. These are the chargers out of the box. Full charge for the S6 Lite, just over three hours, and then almost four hours for the Duet. Whew, that was something, right? I really wanted to test more, but at this point, I'm gonna just list you the issues I had with the Lenovo Duet. Number one, tablet mode. Back and forth tablet mode versus laptop mode was the main disaster. Just kept not, uh, just wasn't happening. Wi-Fi signal, not as good, right? The white bar on the screen, on the, on the bottom, just kept appearing, don't know why. And then the auto height, the shelf auto height, was just worked sporadically. Let me move on. I have the system language set to English. Half of it was in German. Kept resetting it, came back, don't know what, what's happening. Google Keep keeps crashing, including other applications like Nebo, as mentioned before. Stadia controller did not connect wirelessly. And here is my thought to the Lenovo Duet, right? Everybody's raving about it, I'm not. But maybe I'm looking at it at a different angle, at the wrong angle here. When you buy this device, like just that device for Google Docs, you pay 200 bucks. I mean, man, can you really fault this, right? Not, it just doesn't cost that much. It's a budget device, absolutely fantastic. But but here's about as soon as you put it against any competition it starts to crumble and that's pretty much my main conclusion here so type of six light clear winner Lenovo duet it just wasn't there today right lost the big time thank you for watching guys let me know in the comments below what you think about it and as always Tony and Jens here from also space peace out get out of Manhattan in a New York minute there's a yellow cab yeah we should get in it we don't need a reason let's get on a plane